What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanna answer a question that was asked by one of my viewers. How do brake pads back off? Okay, you press the brake, they squeeze, they grab that pads and rotors, they get together, they meet together, but eventually they gotta let go. It's a great question. I got an answer for that. The answer lies within a brake service. So let's take a look and talk a little bit about this, how this system works and how does the brake pads back off. And the question, should be a service answer and let's see what you guys can figure out here and check out some of these clips i'm going to show you guys all the quick uh, uh videos on a little bit of clips on brake services and you will understand how the brake pads back off and uh, should be a simple little video so here's a set of brakes um that i got that i was just about to change so prior to that i wanted to explain to you guys just to show you what was happening here so you see these two retainers a lot of Hondas use it. They got two. Usually some, some vehicle will only have one on the top or one on the bottom, depending on where your caliper is located. So this is pretty much in front of the vehicle. And uh, so pretty much the ro rotation of the water starts here. And this will be ideal for it to open up, okay? And um, there's a small letter rubber seal here. So this one, the way it works is, if you check this out, first of all, let's just explain. Let me explain to you this. So you see this pin, you see how it pushes out. This needs to be lubricated more to make it better, but that's how it is. But other than that, your brake pad, as your caliper squeezes, as you let go of your brakes, it would slightly let go, okay? So this is how this mechanism works. It's, it's, a, it's like a point zero zero one of an inch of, of an inch. That's all the clearance it needs. And this thing makes a little bit of magic here. It, it pressurizes this, so it opens, the slider pin opens it up as well as these retainers here. So that's how that mechanism works. Simple, simple little bit, um, but it all depends on your installation, okay? How the mechanic installed your brakes. So if you didn't lubricate none of this stuff in here, uh, your brakes are not probably gonna uh, move around as much. They're probably gonna seize up and uh, lock up on you. Anyways, that's what it is. The why you had to put this here is because this rotor is gonna try to turn inward as it going forward in motion, the car is moving forward. So this has to op stay open so the brake uh, rotor can just slide right through easily, all right? So it's holding for me right now. Before it snap pops, let me take my caliper and put that on, all right, guys? Anyways, take off the two brake pads. Notice these two little guys okay they sit very important that they go up on the top okay because what happens here is um as you pry the brake pad the pads go in you let go of the brake pads since the rotor when the car is moving forward the rotor is turning this way this thing opens up and uh these spring loaded here just retainers here they open up the pad so the rotor can skim through it very easily, okay? The other end will just get pushed by itself, but if the top stay closed, it won't help much, but the set, that's the reason why, because the caliper is in the front of this rotor, but if, it was, if it's in the back, then it would have been like that, and that, that would have been the scenario, so the bottom would have to open up first, because uh, the rotor is turning this way. Anyways, this little spring-loaded thing here, it goes in the bottom, right and what I'll do is I get that in there and we'll put the brake caliper in 